Hello, mathematicians. Welcome back to Number Corner. For Number Corner today, we will be playing the Up to 10 game. This is a new game, and you will need your Number Corner book and a pencil to play. You can pause the video now to get what you need. When you have your Number Corner book, Open it up to page 46. I want you to take a moment to look at the page and think about what you notice on the Up to 10 game record sheet. Now you may have noticed a few different things. You may have noticed that at the top we see the words combination and model at the top of our columns. You may also have noticed that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 open number lines on our page. You may have also noticed that the bottom of our page says total score and my team won lost by how many points. These are important things we'll need as we play the Up to 10 game. Here's how it works. In the Up to 10 game, teams take turns to roll a subtraction combination with the dice. We'll record it in the first column on the sheet and then use the open number line in the second column to model and solve the problem. Then we'll record the answer. After three turns each, the teams total all their differences to get a final score. The team with the higher score wins. Let's play. Now we are going to record both of our scores on the same record sheet. So the first thing you need to do is take your pencil and draw a line under the third row of your table. Draw that line all the way across the page so we have three rows on top of the line and three rows below the line, just like mine. The top three rows will be for me, for the teacher. You can write the word teacher at the top. Under the line we drew, these three rows will be for students. Write the word students under the line. I'll take the first turn to model how we play. I'll roll my two dice. I rolled a nine and a four. So I'm going to add those two numbers together. I know that 9 plus 4 equals 13. That's the first part of my combination. I'm going to roll my single dice to see what number I'm subtracting from 13. I'm subtracting the number 8. 13 minus 8 equals something. I'm going to show that on my open number line. Now I'm going to show the difference between 13 and 8 by starting at the smaller number. I'll mark 8 at the beginning of my number line and 13 at the end. Now I'm going to jump up to 10 by adding 2. 8 plus 2 equals 10. And I know that a jump of 3 more will get me to 13. And I know that 2 plus 3 equals 5. So the difference between 13 and 8 is 5. Take a moment to write that down on your record sheet for the teacher. Now let's jump to your turn. 
will toss the dice to see what your first number is. You rolled 9 and 8. How can we add 9 plus 8? Now, if you are thinking about your doubles plus or minus one facts to add these numbers, show a connection. Oh, that's a great strategy. I know that 8 plus 8 is 16, plus one more is 17. Let's write our first number down by where we wrote the word students. The first number in our combination is 17. We want to find the difference between 17 and, let's roll our other dice, 5. 17 minus 5. Write this on your record sheet. Underneath the line where it says students. 17 minus 5 equals what? Let's use our open number line to show the difference. Mark your smaller number towards the beginning. That's a 5. And your bigger number at the end. That's 17. Now we're using the strategy of jumping up to 10 first to find the answer. If I start at 5 and jump to 10, how big is my jump? If you're thinking it's a jump of 5, Good thinking. Now if I'm at 10 and I need to jump to 17, how big should my jump be? If you are thinking, well, it should be a jump of 7, good thinking. Let's add 5 plus 7. Can you do this in your head? Now, if I were breaking up 7 to take 5 out, so I can get 5 plus 5 to equal 10, I'd know I have 2 left over. If I add those 2 into my 10, well, I have jumped 12. The difference between 17 and 5 is 12. Let's jump back to my turn. Here's my first roll. 7 plus 7, that's a double. That equals 14. My number I'm subtracting is the number 9. My combination is 14 minus 9. Let's put that on our open number line. What's the number at the beginning of the open number line? If you're thinking 9, good work. The number at the end should be what? 14. Let's jump up to 10 from 9. Now that's a jump of 1 to get us to 10. How many to 14? If you were thinking 4, good thinking. Put this on your record sheet. What's 4 plus 1 more? Five. Good thinking. Your record sheet should so show the difference between 14 and 9 is 5. Back to your turn. Throw your dice. 5 plus 4. Ooh, use your doubles plus or minus 1 facts. If you are thinking 5 plus 5 is 10, minus 1 is 9. Good thinking. 9 is our first number. Let's toss our second dice. 8. 9 minus 8 is our combination. 9 minus 8 equals. Start with the lower number on your number line. The lower number is 8. The higher number is 9. Oh, this one's going to be pretty quick. We just need one jump from 8 to 9. How big is that jump? Just one. 
Put that right in this box for the difference. Back to my turn. Remember, the person with the biggest difference, the most points in our differences, is the winner. I hope I get a big difference this time. I'm going to toss my two dice. Nine plus nine. Oh, what's nine plus nine? It's a double. If you're thinking 18, give yourself a pat on the back. What good thinking? Adding our doubles. Let's toss my second dice. Five, 18 minus five. Let's put that combination on our record sheet. 18 minus five equals something. What's the smaller number? Five, put it towards the left side. The bigger number is 18. How big is our jump from five to 10? If you were thinking it's a jump of five, good thinking. How about from 10 to 18? That's a big jump of eight. Make sure you're filling out your open number lines so they look like mine. Well, I know that if I'm at eight and I take two from five, I can get to 10. That leaves me three more. 10 plus three equals 13. My difference between five and 18 is 13. Oh, I'm so happy I got a big difference. I might be the winner. Back to your turn. It's your last one. Let's roll your dice. Five and four. That's our doubles plus or minus one again. Five plus five is 10. Minus one is nine. Nine's your first number. How about our second number? Nine for your second number. Oh, this one is going to be nine minus nine equals something. Well, we don't even need the open number line for this one. What's nine? Take away nine. Hold it up on your hands. It's zero. We'll just leave our open number line because our answer is zero. Okie dokie. Let's add up our scores and see who won. Now I've written my scores over here. My three scores or differences are five, five, and 13. Now, I want to think of if there's any combinations I see that I can just add together right away. Is there anything that you can add together right away? Well, if you're thinking, I know that 5 plus 5 is 10, we can just add that together. And we can rewrite our equation to have 10 plus 13. That makes it a little bit easier to add together. Well, if I have 10 plus 13, I see that I have two tens right here to give me 20. So I'm gonna put my two tens right here, and I know I have one, two, three ones. All together, I have 23. I'm just gonna write this right over here on my record sheet. I want you to write 23 right there too. Let's look at your differences and add them together. Now we can add your differences together just by adding 12 and one. We don't need the zero. 12 plus one is 13. Let's write 13 over here on the bottom for your total score is 13. Now let's decide who won. The person with the bigger number is the winner. Who's the winner? The teacher won. I won this time but maybe you'll win the next game we play. Okay, how many points did I win by? On the side, I've written my score minus your score, 23 minus 13. Let's think about how we can take 13 away from 23. Well, I wanna first take away my three ones, that leaves me with zero once. Three minus three is zero. Then I want to take away one ten. Two tens minus one ten 
leaves us with 1. I won by 10 points. All right, second grade friends, make sure your record sheet looks just like mine. Take a picture to show your teacher we played this game together today, to show them your hard work, and turn it in in Seesaw. Good job today. I'll see you next time for Number Corner.